Now, in order to remove the action, uh, you, you need to put one finger on either side and just slide it out. Just walk it out like this. Uh, this should be done by a piano technician uh, who's familiar with how to do this. Because if you do it incorrectly or press a key down while you're pulling it out, you're going to snap off a hammer. This is very, very little clearance between the hammer heads and the piano itself inside. So if you were to press that on a key, that would raise the hammer up as you're pulling it out and you'd break it off. And I've done that several times. This is the action of the piano. When it arrives, it's going to have a piece of wood like this sitting over here with some pieces of string that hold it down. This way, when the piano is being ship shipped, these hammers are not going to fly up and the keys won't um, be at, at, let's say, what happens is sometimes the keys get um, misaligned and, you're gonna have, and you might have a problem, but this prevents that. So it's important that you know that when you get the piano and you want to sit down and play it, you're not going to be able to because this piece of wood is going to prevent that from happening. So there's going to be three pieces of string that hold this down. You just snip them, pull the string out, remove this, and then you're going to slip the action back into the piano. Now, it is also important that when the action gets slipped in and out of the piano, that the mute system, the mute system is activated by a lever underneath the piano here. Uh, the mute system is going to be shipped to you in the off position, meaning that um, it, it's going to enable the piano to play once that piece of wood is removed. Uh, in the off position, meaning that's when the piano can play, that's the off position of the mute, that's when you can slip the action in and out. When you move the lever away from you, underneath the piano, the mute system is activated, which means that the keys won't make any sound. They won't play the piano. The reason for that is so you can practice silently with headphones. But what happens is that there's a, a metal rod that activates a, a, a dampening system that prevents the hammers from hitting the strings. And what happens is if you go to pull the action out while the mute is on, then that metal rod is going to hit the hammers. So again, it's always important that that lever underneath is pulled towards you before you pull the action out and put the action back in. Very important. Remember to do that. I'm going to plug in now the, uh, the wires that I unplugged in order to reestablish the electronic connections. And it is a good idea or mandatory that there's a piano technician around when you do this. Um, in order to keep things quick here, I'm not going to reassemble the piano because it's really the same way I just disassembled it, it's just in reverse.